Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for tuning in on this fine Wednesday morning to the Guadalupe Radio Network, KTH 910 AM. My name is Dave Palmer, and I am an out, out and about in Hearst today with a live remote broadcast. And during the next hour, we're not going to play the Women of Grace with John F. Benkovic as usual, but I'm going to bring you uh, some awesome opportunities to, to win some things, also great topics. I want to thank so much Dr. Kyle Eberlein and his wife Martha here at Mid-Cities Dental, where we are broadcasting this morning for the next hour, for lining up some awesome topics and some awesome guests. So just kind of stay tuned. This next hour is going to fly by very fast, but in the course of it, we're going to be talking about the North Texas Catholic Men's Conference, of course, with Dr. Kyle about Mid-Cities Dental. Uh, they've been a sponsor for many, many years. We appreciate them very much. He's my dentist. He's my wife's dentist. In fact, he's done some work on, on my wife. Uh, his, uh, um, his colleague did uh, recently and uh, been very pleased here at Mid-Cities Dental. Uh, also, uh, we are going to talk about Martha Eberlein's experience going to El Paso on a mission trip, okay? And so she's going to join us here in about uh, 15 minutes or so. And as if that wasn't enough, uh, YCP Fort Worth, Young Catholic Professional uh, Fort Worth member, uh, Brian Thatcher, Tratcher, Tratcher <laughs> is going to join us. Uh, he's also the database manager at uh, Good Shepherd Parish in Colleyville. He's going to talk about his experience with the young Catholic professionals. You know, Jen Baugh comes in re uh, often and talks about this amazing group that's helping young people in their 20s and 30s remain in the faith, learn the faith, and also get excited about uh, being disciples of Jesus Christ. And then uh, stay tuned because at the very end of the hour, I'll introduce you to a gentleman, also a Good Shepherd parishioner, Matt. Vaughn, who is a pilot who travels around the world, as most pilots do, and uh, he doesn't just travel around for his job, he goes to mass in all these various countries, including China, including various countries in Europe, and he has uh, a real broad Catholic experience, universal experience of the Mass throughout the world. You know, I've been to Mass in maybe two or three countries in my life, and so he's uh, really got an interesting perspective, especially in China, where he can give us a little bit of insight into uh, the somewhat complicated uh, situation with the church in China. So Matt will join us at about quarter till. So that's why I'm already worn out. we got so many guests, I haven't even started talking to him yet, but also... You know, we've got the car raffle uh, coming up in just a couple of weeks on March 8th, uh, two weeks from Friday, I think it is. We're going to be drawing live on the air a winner of a 2019 Ford Mustang convertible race red. You could be the winner. We've sold a lot of tickets already. We want to sell more because every time you buy a ticket, you're supporting Catholic Radio and our effort of evangelization across the network. Olivia Franklin, uh, my trusty uh, colleague, is here at Mid-Cities Dental, and she wants you to call and buy five tickets for $100 for the car raffle. And if you do, you're going to be put into a mini drawing at the end of this hour. You'll know in, you know, within 55 minutes if you want it or not. Five extra tickets valued at another $100. And also two tickets to our Summer Speaker Series event, which is going to be uh, July 18th. Father Robert Spitzer will be our guest. Uh, Father Robert, uh, Father Spitzer's universe, and uh, he's just an amazing uh, Jesuit theologian and priest. And so here's the phone number <coughs> to call if you want to buy those five tickets for a chance to win uh, five more tickets and also uh, the Summer Speaker Series tickets as well, 972 Seven five seven two nine nine zero. I'll tell you that typically in an hour like this, we have about ten people to get into the drawing. So you're gonna have about a ten percent chance of winning some extra tickets, and also uh, those summer speaker series tickets as well that have not gone on sale yet. I might add. And uh, okay. And finally, before I talk to our first guest, I got to tell you that thanks to Martha Eberlein and Dr. Kyle here. Um, if you come by and see us, we have four gift certificates during the course of this hour for a person who physically comes out here to Hearst, 556 West Bedford Euless Road, uh, Te Hearst, Texas, 76053. Now, it's on Bedford Euless Road between Hearst View and Precinct Line. It says... Uh, Mid Cities Dental. Uh, it's very, very. The signage is very clear. The first person to come in, and as you come in, say Corner Bakery. You're going to get a twenty-five dollar gift certificate to Corner Bakery. All right. You're also going to be fed because we got Chick Fil A food here. We got coffee. We got orange juice. We got muffins. We got fruit. All kinds of good stuff. Thanks to Martha Eberlein and her generous uh, support. So be the first one to come in physically and say Corner Bakery. 
And uh, the ladies up front will know, at least I hope they know, uh, that uh, you get the $25 gift certificate. The second person's gonna get a Chick-fil-A gift certificate. The third is gonna get a Chick-fil-A gift certificate. And the fourth, a Starbucks gift certificate, okay, during the course of this hour. So come on and see us, get some food, say hello to uh, the staff here, and uh, support great sponsors like Mid-Cities Dental. All right, so that's what we're doing here, and let me get right to our first guest. Dr. Kyle, Kyle Eberlein is uh, one of the owners here, and like I said, a sponsor, and his website, midcitiesdental.com. And with him is his friend and my friend and fellow sponsor as well, Bob Duane. We had a live remote at My Mutual of Grapevine here <laughs> recently, so uh, I'm among friends. Uh, gentlemen, good to see you. Thanks for, uh, I, I don't know about thanks for being here. Yeah, I'm, you're, you're, this is kind of your place, Dr. Kyle. Well, so. well, we're glad you're here, Dave. Yeah, well, thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about uh, Mid Cities Dental in more than 30 seconds, because people hear you and uh, Martha on the air for 30 seconds at a time. Tell us about your practice. Well, you know, um, first of all, I just, you know, Dave, I'm excited to have you here. I'm excited about being a sponsor for a long time now. Uh, can't uh, can't talk uh, good enough about how great the radio is and the patience that we have from the from the radio. In fact, I want to just briefly say that you know what's interesting. I find with uh, with Brian and Catholic with Catholic uh, young professionals is we've been getting a lot of new patients all over Dallas, Fort Worth that listen to the radio, and they're in their twenties. And, you know, you used to think, well, it's just probably older people that listen to the radio and stuff, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's young people that are coming in and they're excited about their faith. And so our practice has really been growing quite a bit. And with our uh, huge Catholic population that come here, a lot of young families. Now, let me ask you a dentist question, okay? Because uh, no, typically with regular medical issues, the older you get, the more medical issues you have. I mean, that's just kind of the way it yeah. goes. So if you're a heart surgeon, you're probably not treating a lot of 10-year-olds. My experience with dentistry is that it's kind of the opposite. I had many more dental issues, uh, at least cavities and things like that when I was a kid, and fewer as an adult. Is there a certain age where people tend to have more dental issues? Well, you know, what's, what's really interesting, what's happened is that through preventative dentistry, a lot of kids are not having the issues that they had, let's say, when you and I were kids. Uh, what's really happening is the elderly population are the ones that are getting the majority of dental problems. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of it is side effects from uh, medicines or side effects from different illnesses, cancer treatment, things of that nature. A lot of it deals with... Uh, dry mouth problems and sleep apnea and all, all kinds of stuff. It's all so. interrelated, isn't it? Uh, all right, well, if you want to be like me, and gosh, who doesn't, right? You want uh, uh, Dr. Kyle Eberlein, and uh, you're a, you're a co-dentist here. What is her name again? Well, we have Dr. Bijal Patel is here with us, and then we also have, uh, we've been blessed with another office now called Dayspring Dental, where we have another good Catholic dentist, Dr. Jackie Claven, working with us. Oh, wow. So Expanding, we have, huh? So, yeah, we have patients now coming not only to Hearst, but also to Bedford. And, and people do say, hey, I heard your spot on the radio. And we, we and I'm going to get Bob Duane in the conversation here because three days from now, there's this uh, incredible event. And I'm so excited because this thing's almost sold out. And so if you're a man 18 and over and you want to go to the North Texas Catholic Men's Conference, boy, you, pro you procrastinated long enough. You need to get on the ball and get your tickets. And I'm going to be the MC. we got some great speakers. We'll talk about that in just a second. I love the spots that you have on the radio because you talk about St. Apollonia. And I know people have heard about this. At the end of one of the spots, St. Apollonia, pray for us. It's just so amazingly Catholic to be asking for the intercession of the saints. Tell us about St. Apollonia. Well, you know, uh, you know, St. Apollonia was a martyr. And uh, when in Egypt uh, at that time, I think uh, uh, Philip the Great at the time. And um, anyways, in her case, she wasn't willing to... Uh, change her faith to paganistic type things and and then of course uh, uh, had all her teeth removed forcefully unfortunately but she martyred herself by throwing herself into a fire rather than converting or trying to do what the pagans wanted to do so she was very very devout in her faith and um, so she became the patron patroness of dentist mm. and um, so as a Catholic office, I just feel like, you know what, I'm not afraid to live our faith and promote our faith, and we're going to do it at work, and we're going to do it at home. So. All right, so St. Apollonia, please pray for us. And again, I, I went on uh, Wikipedia and uh, did a little research on her, but uh, you've pretty much covered it as far as the history of St. Apollonia, so thank you very much. Dr. Kyle Eberlein here, and we are at Mid-Cities Dental during this hour, and we're broadcasting live. A lot, lot going on, a lot of great guests to get to. 
But we want you to come on out here and visit us. Uh, Martha has brought uh, Chick-fil-A food and orange juice and coffee. Uh, 556 West Bedford Ulysses Road, Hearst, Texas, 76053, between Hearst View and Precinct Line in Hearst. The next four people that come out and see us physically here are going to get gift cards to Corner Bakery, Chick-fil-A, or Starbucks. So a lot of incentive to come on out here. And again, if you want to get those car raffle tickets, uh, time is running out. Uh, five tickets for 100, you'll get into a drawing for five more tickets and summer speaker series tickets as well uh, call olivia olivia has run off somewhere i don't know where she is hopefully she's talking on the phone 972-757-2990 that's my cell phone number uh, call her just say i want to get five tickets for a hundred dollars give her your credit card information and uh, we'll mail you the tickets and you'll be in the drawing on march 8th and also another drawing here in about 45 minutes for those other uh, goodies 972-757-2990 bob duane the owner of my mutual mortgage along uh, with uh, Dr. Kyle as well and uh, big event coming up here in three days St. Patrick's Parish in Dallas and things are going really well isn't it? this is exciting it's very exciting Dave thanks for having us again and that's the parish you grew up in it is yeah I was, MC, that's I was an be... altar boy there yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be sentimental for me I mean to be there again that's awesome well we have 51 tickets left <laughs> and normally a few days ahead we have somewhere between 100 to 150 people buy their tickets so yeah if you are procrastinating stop <laughs> right, right now go to uh, ntxcmc that stands for north texas catholic men's conference dot org or if you're driving you can remember this catholic brothers for christ dot com mm -hmm. either place the registration pops up register get your ticket and uh and we'll have a seat for you. We have incredible speakers kicking off as Bishop Burns, and uh, he is so excited about the turnout and the people that are coming. Then we have Patrick Coffin coming in from California. Uh, of course, he was scheduled last year, and his father passed away, so we're excited to have him this year. And we have Father Mitch Pacwa. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be power-packed. Uh, we've got adoration. We've got... And the conference starts at 9, but at 8 o'clock, there's a mass. So come early. Registration starts at 7, and we'll have coffee and donuts. Come, come to mass at 8, and we'll have mass. Uh, we're going to sing a Divine Mercy chaplet after that, Then we officially start at 9 o'clock. You're the MC. It is just going to be power-packed. We'll be done by 3. Mm -hmm. So there's not a man out there, and if you're a wife listening, this is the time to sign your husband up. Yeah, and it's yeah. Forty-five dollars today. It's fifty dollars at the door, and I don't think there'll be any tickets left at the door. You know, and Saturday is my work day. I like to uh, relax as much as possible on Sunday and get my work around the house done on Saturday. So some guys thinking, you know, I got work to do. I got to do this or that or fix this. You know, you get out of there at three o'clock. You got the rest of the day, buddy. Okay, so just come and dedicate those six hours to building yourself up and other man. Because you know, iron sharpens iron. NTX CMC. Uh, .org is the website. I was over at Most Blessed Sacrament Parish in Arlington on Sunday, and I was inspired to say, as you know, selling raffle tickets and talking about Catholic radio, and this is a difficult time in the church, you know, and we probably all have friends or family members that are saying, you know what, I'm cutting and running. I'm out of there. I'm not going to be Catholic any longer. And the message I said was, you know, I'm going to die Catholic, and uh, you know, I, I'm not leaving. And I and I and I think that's one of the messages that uh, that that men and women need to say is that, you know, I'm I'm not going to abandon the church. I want to learn. The, the faith and I want to strengthen other people and there's more there's so many reasons to uh, be strengthened in our faith rather than considering cutting and running right and the theme is strengthen your strengthen the brothers and yeah. we, we got that directly from Bishop Burns a year ago when he was complimenting what we were doing and said we need to strengthen the brothers and that was before all the stuff that has happened this year and again he's our kickoff speaker uh, and He's on fire for strengthening the brotherhood, and it is that's a great reason we have we're going to have a sellout. Mm -hmm. that's, all. that's awesome. That whole church is going to be filled. And so, gentlemen, if you have not bought your tickets yet, please go to ntxcmc.org, as in North Texas Catholic Men's Conference, ntxcmc.org. Real quickly, Bob, uh, there's the talks, and you know, that's sometimes the, uh, a big draw, but even more important than the talks is the fact that uh, men can adore the Lord during that time. They can receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation. There will be some time for praise and 
worship, uh, lunch. <laughs> Chick-fil-A again. Uh, yeah, Chick-fil-A, so that's right, if you didn't get enough year. this morning. So, uh, no, those are, I mean, there's a lot going on in six hours, isn't there? There is, and it's going to be power-packed. And the other thing is you'll meet other Catholic men and be able to, to build a bond. And one thing that we are, this is our eighth conference, and this year we're going to have resources. So if you're um, coming and you're one or two or three people from a parish, and right now we have a hundred par different parishes represented. Oh, wow. Over a hundred parishes. Is that a record? Uh, it's close to it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And uh, uh, we will be giving resources that they can go online and go back and start a men's group in their, in their parish to to build the ministry of men. This is not just a conference, it's a yeah. movement. And uh, as we are about to introduce Martha, Dr. Kyle's uh, wife, I just want to remind, and I know Martha would echo this as well. Uh, women, if you're listening, uh, you know, this is uh, the hour when Women of Grace is on. So naturally, you're going to have a lot of women listening. Uh, encourage your, your husbands to go. You know, I, I think a, a man that goes to a conference like this gets more serious. A more serious Catholic man is a better husband, is a better father. I know, you know, we, we'd all agree. We're, we're far from perfect men and far from, you know, Martha would probably say, Dr. Kyle's far from perfect husband. <laughs> I know my wife would say that, but you know we 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 we, we strengthen ourselves and we we get to have see some good examples, some good talks, and so. One other thing we need is, uh, and you, if you are a female and you're listening, we need some female volunteers. Okay. And you can go to the same website and just where it says register, it says register as a female volunteer, and um, or lady volunteer. And they help with registration and other things, and uh, we need more of those because of the big, the huge sellout crowd we're going to have. All right, very good, Bob Dwayne. Thank you so much, North Texas Catholic Brothers for Christ. It's the eighth annual North Texas Catholic Men's Conference. Patrick Coffin, Father Mitch Paqua, Bishop Edward Burns. I'll be the MC. You and uh, 800 of your close male friends are going to be there. You don't even have to be Catholic uh, to to go. But we do encourage you to sign up, and as Bob said, it's going to be a sellout. I, it's likely that there's going to be a time when they just have to take the information off the website and say, you know what, we fire code issues here. We can't uh, can't let any other guys in. So, Bob, thank you very much. Dr. Kyle as well, thank you. We're at Mid-Cities Dental this morning, broadcasting until 11 o'clock, 556 West bedford Ulyss Road. Uh, it's sweetie, but I don't think the sweet's going to matter because it's so clearly the, the dentistry office here. There's a big sign that says Mid-Cities Dental, uh, Hearst, Texas. 76053. If you want to put it into your uh, GPS, uh, come on over here. The next four people that physically come to this location, you're going to get, uh, I'll tell you what, you can pick which one you want. Uh, Corner Bakery, uh, $25 gift certificate, uh, Chick fil A, $20, $20 Chick fil A, $10, or Starbucks, $10. Uh, and so come over here and say, hey, I heard you on the radio and I want to get one of those gift certificates, get some food, and uh, we want to see you. MidCitiesDental.com, they're a sponsor here on this station. And we want to thank Dr. Kyle and Martha Eberlein uh, for their support of Catholic Radio. And it sounds like you guys are responding and uh, coming out here and making uh, them your dentists like I have done and my wife has done as well. All right, so Martha joins us now. And, oh, and don't forget, I don't know what the update is with Olivia, but uh, we want to sell some raffle tickets during this hour. Get five tickets for $100. Oh, no, none. Wow. So Olivia says nobody has called in. Well, let me take a minute and let you know what's going on. Let me make sure that we're on the air. Okay, yeah, we're definitely broadcasting. If you call on my cell, to my cell phone, 972-757-2990, and say, I want to get five of the car raffle tickets for the March 8th drawing for the 2019 Ford Mustang convertible. Um, you are going to get five tickets for $100. You'll also be put into a drawing for five more tickets at the end of this hour, and you'll get two tickets to the Summer Speaker Series event on July 18th with Father Robert Spitzer, okay? At this rate, we might only have five or six people. We might only have three people in the drawing. <laughs> I hope not. I hope we have 10 or 11, but uh, your chances of winning those extra five are very good. 972. 757-2990. I know we're throwing a lot of information at you, a lot of guests, a lot of things to talk about and events, but uh, we do want to make this... Uh, okay, all right, Dr. Kyle says we just got our first call, so uh, we need one more call to make it a drawing. You can't draw with one entry, right? Uh, if you leave a message, Olivia will call you back. 972-757-2990. Martha Eberlein is uh, one of the owners here at Mid-Cities uh, Dental. She and her husband, Kyle, are members at Good Shepherd Catholic Parish in Colleyville. And she recently went to El Paso 
and for a mission trip uh, a couple of weeks ago, and she wants to talk about welcoming Christ in the migrant. So, Martha, how you doing? Good to see you. Great, thank you. Make sure you bring that thing right around there so we can... Uh, all right, so was this a, a parish um, mission that was sponsored by Good Shepherd, or what, what inspired you to go? Yes, it was a mission trip that was sponsored through Good Shepherd Catholic Community. Yeah, I know we talked uh, before about how this whole issue of migrants is very politically charged and there's uh, so much and you know in a 10-minute in a interview we're not going to be able to cover everything but I think one thing that everybody can agree on is that you know migrants are people they're, they're human beings and they are to be loved now the politics aside and uh, how many should come in and uh, you know whether the, the wall is built and all that that's not the issue here but you went out there and you actually interacted with some of these folks right yes Okay, so tell us about it. What was, uh, how big of a group went, and what was your experience? Well, there were six of us that went. <clears throat> we drove down, and it was a 10-hour trip, and we had a great time. And um, we got to stay with um, the Columban missionary priest. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> we had Father Bob, that was the one who took us around to different locations. And we met with the Border Patrol, and we met with um, the, the diocesan um, migrant refugee um, uh, office. Mm -hmm. and they help migrants and yeah. refugees with legal problems, but there's just so many people to help. Yeah. Um, yeah. The one one of the things I, I love about being a, a Catholic, and that's not to say other faiths don't uh, believe this as well, but I think it's one of the principal beliefs is the dignity of the human person. I mean, the the moment a human being is conceived in the womb, they should be given all the protections. And the 102 year old that doesn't have any function left, and maybe they're in a coma, is still a human being, of course. And and, and deserves uh, dignity, and throughout the entire portion of the life, regardless of our uh, our state or where we are, or, or uh, you know, you know the, the, the church has always said, let's just at least treat everybody like human beings, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, what was your experience uh, down there? Did you get to meet some folks? Uh, what? what uh, anything? Any takeaways that uh, you want to share with our listeners? Sure. We went to different shelters, and <clears throat> one of them was at the Annunciation House, and um, we were able to uh, serve them meals. Actually, we had a group of forty-two migrants come to the Columba Mission, and mm -hmm. we served them a dinner, and we interacted with them, and we just had a great time, and you know, and they just. They're so humble, they're just full of humility, and mm -hmm. they're so grateful to, to be here. And it was just really nice being with them and just, you know, recognizing that, you know, they're, they're people. And, and whether they stay or not, that's not for me to decide. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we need to love people where they're at. Yeah, so was, were you working with, uh, was it a government agency? Was it a church? Is the church and the government was, working it, together or what? Well, I think that they probably do some, they, you know, El Paso is very uh, unified in this whole thing. So yeah. they got a lot of things, most things covered, you know, from, you know, meeting the migrant right at the border, going to the immigration, and then from immigration, they get let out, and then they go to the shelter homes. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them were Catholic, Catholic um, facilities and shelters. And then at that point, um, they they find rides for them. They have to have a sponsor to get into the United States. If they don't have a sponsor, they can't. They have to have birth mm -hmm. certificate. If they have kids, the kids have to have birth certificates. So once they get in, they go to the shelters, and then the shelters will call up their sponsors and set up their rides. Most of them were Greyhound mm -hmm. you know, rides. And these migrants, you know, they go from, from El Paso to Washington, state of Washington or Maine. I mean, they have long, long bus rides. Mm -hmm. And then the shelter provides um, food for them to take on their trips because these people have jelly sandwiches <laughs> and just filled up the sacks. And so and they get one bottle of water, and then they just have to fill it up wherever they're at. Uh -huh. But um, I just found that El Paso was very unified and worked really well together. And, I mean, you don't see migrants on the streets or anything mm -hmm. like that over there. So... It, it was, there's a lot of order down there. Yeah, very good. Uh, Martha Eberlein is my guest, uh, broadcasting live, Mid-City Center. I saw a few people come in. I don't know if anybody got any of the gift certificates yet. Uh, have a given? Okay, we haven't given away any of the gift certificates yet. Uh, so uh, I, I'm really surprised. I know some people may be listening, and you're really far away, and you're thinking, I can't go all the way to Hearst. I'm in, you know, Weatherford, or I'm in yeah, DeSoto, and it just when it isn't feasible. i got to get to work in five minutes. i got a meeting. Well, that's okay. But if you are able to come out here, we want to see you.
uh, at Mid Cities Dental, where we're broadcasting until 11 o'clock. I still have two more guests that we're going to uh, be talking about Young Catholic Professionals of Fort Worth with Brian Tratcher, and also uh, a pilot named Matt Vaughn, who travels the world in his profession and has had the opportunity to go to Mass in different countries, including China. Uh, and, you know, it, the, the, the word Catholic means universal, and I'm just interested in talking to him about uh, how similar are the Masses. Of course, there are different languages. Uh, and just what's kind of the common bond among Catholics around the entire world as we celebrate uh, the universality of our church? Well, Matt will be able to tell us about that. And uh, interestingly, uh, Dr. Evelyn was telling us about this Dr. Jackie Clavin. Well, that just happens to be Matt Vaughn's wife. And so it's all interconnected. You guys just kind of uh, worked this out so well. Uh, so come on, see us, 556 West Bedford, Euless Road, Suite E, Hearst, Texas, 76053, between Hearst View and Precinct Line. Uh, the website is midcitiesdental.com. Uh, if you're one of the next four people to come on out here, you can get a gift certificate to Corner Bakery, Chick-fil-A, or Starbucks. Uh, at least $10 each of those gift certificates. Plus, you get some food and coffee and fruit and muffins and all kinds of stuff. We don't want uh, Martha to have to you know, either take all this home with her or you know, give it to somebody else. Uh, so come on and see us. And again, if you want to buy those raffle tickets for the car on March 8th, my cell phone number is 972-757-2990. Buy five tickets for $100 for a chance to win that uh, Ford Mustang. And at the end of this hour, we're going to do a drawing for five more tickets and two tickets to the Summer Speaker Series event with Father Robert Spitzer on July 18th. Boy, this is like a data dump. It's just like so much information. I can imagine people are like, what? what? <laughs> There's a lot going on. All right, so back to our topic at hand. Uh, this is uh, Martha Eberlein, Welcoming Christ in the Migrant. It is unfortunate because it's become so politicized, and sometimes even just that word migrant may just be, make people nervous. And uh, it's so cool that, uh, of course, we know as Catholics, we've got to treat every single person with love and concern and compassion. Are you, gonna, are you planning another trip, or what, what's, what's the future hold now that you've, you've been on this one? I don't know that I'm going to go back anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, maybe next year or two yeah. years. I think our church does it every two years. So I'll just see where, where I'm at at that point. Um, for me, uh, well, I guess what I'll take away from, what I've taken away from that is that, you know, we just, um, you know, I need to, you know, I want to let people know that if you want to volunteer and go help, there's a great need. Mm -hmm. We walked into one shelter and they asked us all if anybody was in medical and nobody raised their hand. And I said, well, I'm in dental. And then uh, the sister that was in charge, she put me in charge of her. She says, okay, you'll be my nurse for the afternoon. Mm. And I was, you know, look, you know, taking in the migrants, asking them what was wrong with them. And I'm, I'm Hispanic myself, so I'm a migrant myself. So I have a little compassion. And you're fluent in Spanish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, but, you know, I got to see families. I got to see little kids that were really sick. You mm -hmm. know, we were just giving them over-the-counter medications. But, you know, there's a need. Uh, if you feel, you know, compelled to go and work down there and volunteer, I highly recommend it. Okay. It, was a, it really was a wonderful experience. Is there something, you know, somebody may say, gosh, I want to help, but El Paso uh, in the, you know, these border towns are pretty far away. You know, I, I, I'd like to help here in Fort Worth or in Dallas or work with Catholic <laughs> right. Charities. Is that is that the first thing you do or talk to your parish or what, what, what's their, their first step if they want to be involved? Well, I think, you know, Catholic Charities, you know, works with the refugees and the migrants. And, I mean, there's there, there's a need for foster parents. We have good friends that are foster parents to a, a Guatemalan young teenager boy whose life has completely changed because, you know, he was able to have a home here now. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, out of all the countries, I think I saw more Guatemalans than anything else. Guatemalans and Hondurans. Yeah. All right. Well... Uh, thanks so much, and I want to thank you for everything you do. Whenever you, we have with these live broadcasts, I know you just you, you have so much, and you know I'm kind of surprised we haven't had anybody claim these uh, gift certificates yet. You want to kind of run these down, and uh, I, I figure we'll give people a choice because maybe you like Chick Fil A more than you like Corner Bakery, or you want Starbucks more than Chick Fil A, and so you've got four different gift certificates right. for anybody who will physically come here. And if if we don't give them away, then I have to take them, right? No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not going to take them, but. Uh, we do want people to come by and, and say hello and get some food and pick up one of these gift certificates, right? Absolutely. All right. So $25 to Corner Bakery, 20 to Chick-fil-A, 10 to Chick-fil-A, 
or ten dollars to Starbucks and so thank you for buying those and for sure. offering them up and also the food over here is available and uh, in the past you know we've always had people that have come yeah. by and bought tickets you can come by physically and buy tickets and get mm -hmm. into that drawing and then if you win you know you're here right that's right so all right uh, well Martha thank you for uh, all you do thanks for being a sponsor and uh, again the message here is uh, welcoming everybody as Christ would. And again, that doesn't mean, you know, we're talking about a political solution. We let the politicians take care of that. But as far as just being kind to people, right. I think that's the key, right? Exactly. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank good, you. Good, good chatting with you. And uh, from one guest to the next, and uh, we, we have a heavy Good Shepherd Parish contingency on these broadcasts because that's where uh, Dr. Kyle and Martha are parishioners. And I want I want to thank uh, Father Richard Eldridge because uh, he, among other pastors across the area, uh, allowed us to come out a little, two weekends ago, uh, I think it was, and they made an announcement about the car raffle and we sold tickets and so we thank him and all the, the wonderful TOR parishes, uh, the Third Order regular Franciscans, they tend to be very, very uh, supportive of Catholic Radio by and large. All right, so we are about halfway through our live broadcast here at Mid-Cities Dental. Uh, I also want to thank Ralph Zoran because Ralph with the Catholic Brothers for Christ is as he always does is videotaping uh, this whole broadcast this is going to show up on YouTube eventually so you'll get to see all of our guests and not just hear us but uh, a reminder of a couple things before I bring Brian Tratcher in on the conversation young Catholic professionals and uh, also the database manager for Good Shepherd uh, Catholic Parish in Colleyville as well uh, two things. Come on and see us. Pick up one of these gift certificates. I know there are people that are like, okay, I'm five minutes away. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I promise you, if you're five minutes away, you're going to get one of these gift certificates because we still have four of them left. Uh, Mid-Cities Dental, 556 West Bedford Euless Road, Hearst, Texas, 76053. Between Hearst View and Precinct Line, and uh, maybe Bob or uh, Dr. Kyle, can you guys give us an update on how many uh, um, Olivia has uh, sold? Call my cell phone, 972-757-2990. We want you to support Catholic Radio during these live broadcasts also. Buy five car raffle tickets for $100, and you're going to have a chance to win a Ford Mustang on March 8th. And uh, it's race red, it's convertible. And uh, also at the end of this hour, Olivia is going to come and anybody who called in and bought five tickets for 100 during this hour is going to be put into a drawing to win five more tickets valued at $100 and two tickets to our Summer Speaker Series event, July 18th. Father Robert Spitzer will be the guest. It's going to be at the Frontiers of Flight Museum. Uh, in Dallas, okay. So, uh, and again, I, I think we've only got a few people. That uh, only two. Wow, you know. <laughs> All right, so two people are in the drawing. This is. Um, I think we'll still end up with six or seven, but uh, you're gonna have a good chance of winning those extra goodies. Nine seven two seven five seven two nine nine zero. Okay, that's my cell phone number. Call up and just tell Olivia hey, I want to get five of those tickets for a hundred dollars. And you'll have a chance to win the car and also five extra tickets and uh, tickets to our Summer Speaker Series event on July 18th. Boy, I'm worn out. There's just so much going on. Okay, um, we continue now. As promised, Brian Tratcher is the database manager for Good Shepherd Catholic Parish in Colleyville. And also, he is a member of the Fort Worth chapter of the Young Catholic Professionals. Their website is youngcatholicprofessionals.org. This is an organization that uh, I have really enjoyed watching grow. I remember young uh, Jen Baugh coming into our studio eight years, seven years ago, when she first started it, one chapter in Dallas, and now it's in like 20 chapters across the country. And uh, I think they're even spreading around the world as well. So, Brian, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Good to see you, Dave. Uh, thanks so much for having me on. I'm very honored to be here today. Uh, and uh, also, if I can, I'd just like to give a shout out to, to Good Shepherd and uh, also to my family and friends who are listening, uh, especially my mom and dad, my sister Courtney, and my adorable three-year-old niece, Sakura. Hi, Sakura. Uncle B loves you so much. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just so glad to be here. Uh, like you said, uh, Young Catholic Professionals was established in 2010. Uh, Jennifer Baugh is our founder. Uh, absolutely an incredible organization. And uh, I guess I'll speak a little bit just to how I got involved. So I've been involved uh, with the Fort Worth chapter since it was established in 2014. And uh, just, just it's such an incredible 
organization, Dave, you know, there's really a need, uh, especially in, in this day and age and the times that we li live in for an organization like Young Catholic Professionals. Uh, as you know, we, we live in a world that, uh, you know, our culture is increasingly secular and the workplace in particular can often be a place that is intimidating to people of faith and mm -hmm. even hostile at times to people of faith. And so I think it's all the more important that we have an organization like Young Catholic Professionals uh, so that Catholics in the workforce, and especially young Catholics in their 20s and 30s, which is, uh, you know, the the demographic that uh, that we serve. It's also uh, a place. It's a time when a lot of people are leaving the church. You know, you hear yes. about the statistics about going off to college. You know, Absolutely. generally people are in their upper teens, 20s, Absolutely. leaving the church. And uh, you know, whenever I talk to Jen, I say, "Gosh, well, I'm only surprised it took this long to start a group like YCP." Uh, let Let me ask you, uh, if I may. Um, what, why, why did you join? You know, what, what, was, sure. what was the uh, motivation or what, what appealed to you about this group? Sure. Well, you know, Dave, uh, my Catholic faith has been very important to me. Uh, you know, going back to high school through college, I was very active uh, in the Catholic Newman Center and just uh, being very involved in my faith. That's very important to me. And it's one of my goals, I guess, as part of my path to sainthood, to, to live out my faith in my day-to-day -day life. And that includes in my work, you know. We're called to, to do everything we do for the glory of God, for the glory of Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, and that applies as much as in our work as, as in anything else. So for me, this is an opportunity to, uh, to be in an environment where I'm learning more about how to do that from seasoned Catholic professionals. And also having those opportunities to meet other Catholics my age in their 20s and 30s. Uh, to have those opportunities to, to network uh, and to grow together uh, as a community, as a community of faith, as a community of Catholic professionals. Uh, you know, Jim Baugh, in one of her talks I was watching from a couple years ago when she was speaking to YCP, she, she was um, basically uh, quoting uh, Pope, Pope uh, Emeritus Benedict XVI uh, using the analogy of the... Uh, the rope on the mountain and how, you know, when you're all together on that rope on the mountain and you kind of support each other to pull yourselves up that mountain. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of that concept of us coming together as that, that community of young Catholic professionals banding together to grow uh, professionally and also spiritually. Uh, you know, you have to have those things together and to to really have that community to support each other yeah uh, because it's not it's not easy especially today uh, to live out one's faith uh, in the workplace and so having that that community of support is yeah just and it's so critical I mentioned a time when a lot of people unfortunately leave the faith but it's also a time when young people are making the biggest decisions of their life Absolutely. So who are they gonna marry what is their career gonna be are they gonna go get that master's degree are they gonna you know quit one job and start another I mean the, you know, as the older you get the Typically and hopefully you get a little more settled and you know things are kind of set but uh, what better time to rely on not only the Lord principally and the Saints but also a band of brothers and sisters who can support you Absolutely. while you're making these big decisions and I'm sure a lot of people I know when I was uh, uh, your age I was interested in you know marriage and you know there's a lot of reasons why people would join a group like this uh, for business contacts for you know perspective you know uh, you know somebody that they could court or uh, be courted by and also you know of course principally the faith development as well so Absolutely. what 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 an amazing group. Let me ask you, by the way, Brian Tratcher is uh, with me. He's a member of the Young Catholic Professionals of the Fort Worth chapter and also the database manager at Good Shepherd uh, Catholic Parish in Colleyville. And the website for Young Catholic Professionals is youngcatholicprofessionals.org. You guys have these monthly executive speaker series events. Uh, tell our listeners about that. And maybe yes. Any speakers you remember that may have, uh, the message may have uh, really struck you as uh, poignant or meaningful? Absolutely, Dave. Well, like you said, so kind of our core monthly event is our executive speak speaker series events, and these are free to all attendees in their 20s and 30s uh, who are interested in coming out. Uh, and uh, like you said, we have seasoned uh, Catholic professionals who come and speak at these events. So kind of the typical format uh, and by the way, here here in the Fort Worth chapter, we always start, so for our executive monthly speaker series events, uh, which are held on the third Thursday of the month, we start with Mass at 6.30 p.m. Uh, at the St. Patrick Cathedral. 
And then following mass at 7 o'clock is uh, when the doors open for people to come in. Uh, there's uh, kind of networking and socializing. There's food and drinks. So you have that opportunity to meet uh, other Catholic professionals in their 20s and 30s and to have that opportunity for network networking and community building. Um, and then at 7.30 is when we have our keynote speaker. And these are seasoned uh, Catholic professionals in the workforce who have had these years of experience. Uh, some of the speakers that we've had in the past include uh, Karen Garnett, who was the former executive director of the Catholic Pro-Life Committee of North Texas, and who's currently now the VP of Community Relations at Heroic Media down in Houston, which is a big pro-life uh, media company. Uh, Charlie Morrison, the president and CEO of Wingstop. I've had the pleasure to meet him. A uh, great, uh, very down-to-earth man. Uh, Bobby Warren, uh, the senior VP at Williamson Dickey Manufacturing, uh, otherwise known as Dickey's. Uh, William Allen from J.P. Morgan. Uh, Tim Haw, the founder and owner of Evergreen Companies. Uh, Nicole Havrilla, the founder and president of Whole Life Authentic Care, uh, which is an, an organization that's committed to bringing pro-life uh, health care, which is rooted in Catholic principles to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, and then, of course, and, and so many others. Yeah, you know, let, that's, let, me, that's, let, let me let me ask. I'm, I'm sorry, Brian uh, Th Thratcher is our guest, Fort Worth chapter of YCP, and uh, we uh, there's there's probably a lot of uh, parents that are listening right now and thinking, I want my son or daughter to get in, involved in that. They're in their 20s or 30s. Of course, that in itself is not enough. But what sure. would you say to parents listening uh, who are saying, you know what, this is exactly the group that my son or daughter needs to go to? How would they gently encourage uh, their son or daughter to to, to maybe at least go on the website and check it out. Uh, uh, sure, and, you know, and that, and that's the thing, you know, it's just uh, you know encouraging and, and supporting uh, their their especially those who are uh, in their later college years or who are kind of just starting out in the workforce. Just you know, be, get involved um, and don't be afraid to to take that leap of faith uh, and and to step out and into this organization because it, it is such a wonderful community. Uh, the people you'll meet, you'll meet are just fantastic. Um, the the events that we have, the executive speaker series events, and getting to, to meet new people, and just knowing that you're not alone. You know, you don't have to 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 fight this battle alone. You know, being a Catholic in the workforce, you have. Uh, other people, you have a support community here, yeah. and I think that's the important, the important thing is just know, knowing that you you have that, and just taking that leap of faith to, to get involved. Because once you get involved with it, you're going to discover how great it is. Uh, just a couple of minutes remaining as we continue to talk about young Catholic professionals. Brian Tratcher is my guest, and he's with the Fort Worth chapter. There are, I don't know if you know this right off the top of your head, I think there are 17, 18 chapters around the country, uh, and more, uh, from what I understand, there are more dioceses and archdioceses that are uh, trying to get Jen and the group to expand, and of course you can only expand so quickly. Do you have, do you have sure. that number off the top of your so head? So we actually have a total of 19 chapters oh, currently. Wow. Uh, Dallas, of course, was the first chapter established in 2010, uh, followed by the Fort Worth chapter, which was established in 2014. Um, and then we've got like you said, chapters all across the nation now, Austin, Chicago, uh, Cleveland, Columbus, Denver, Detroit, uh, Houston, Jacksonville, New Orleans, Omaha, uh, Orange County in California, Orlando, Phoenix, Portland, Oregon, San Antonio, uh, San Diego, and Silicon Valley in California. All right, let me. And there's uh, so much more room oh, you know, yeah, for more yeah. expansion. A year from um, now, if had, you were on, we'd probably be talking about 23 chapters of sure. young Catholic professionals. Uh, let me let me ask you one last question, and again, want to encourage uh, everybody, whether you're in your 20s or 30s, uh, an old guy like me, almost 52 years old, I don't have any kids in that age category my oldest child is 14 so I'm, I'm like you know I, I don't this doesn't apply to me directly at all young professionals.org is the website and uh, Brian Tratcher is my guest you know you and I kind of have it easy in a sense because we work in Catholic settings you know I'm in sure. Catholic radio and so I can go into the <laughs> office and talk about you know what I believe as far as moral issues and you know nobody's it's not gonna bat an eye not, not, not everybody is that fortunate I right. mean I used to work in corporate America and boy you gotta pretty much stay silent and it, it's, it's difficult and so do you ever talk to people that are working in corporate America or is that ever addressed about how to be as Jeff Sheffelbein show talks about undivided intention where you are 
and not that you have to go proselytizing at work because you know that's not always appropriate sure. but just being a catholic man or a catholic woman everywhere you go and not hiding it or you know what i mean sure. what, what's what's the formula there sure and what i would say dave is really at the end of the day it's just being authentic being true yeah. to who you are and standing standing up for your principles being true to your principles and never allow anybody to uh to compromise those principles be true uh to who you are as a catholic uh, and don't be afraid uh, to live out your faith and don't be afraid uh, to stand up for your catholic values and i think that's the most important thing is just being being true to that which is obviously easier said than done in many situations yeah. um, and that's where prayer life comes in which is you know the other aspect of of ycp you know is growing spiritually not just professionally but again growing spiritually spiritually growing in your prayer life that's something that our our um, our speakers our keynote speakers stress time and time again in their speeches is, is having that that spiritual life and that that prayer life even if it's just five minutes a day um, all right young org is the website uh, now I promised you this would go fast did it go fast it yeah. did it okay did. I told you really the 12 the 13 or 14 minutes would be like a blink of an eye probably a little more than a blink of an eye and just <laughs> one, and just one last thing for anybody who has any more questions like Dave said the the website is youngcatholicprofessionals.org uh, for the Fort Worth chapter. It's ycpfortworth.org. And then Christopher Wood is our current chapter president, and his email is christopher.wood at ycpfortworth.org. All uh, right, man, you covered it all. Is Jen listening this morning? Do you know if she's uh, happened to be listening? I'm not sure. Uh, Jen, he did a great job. I think she would do. You're going to get an email from Jen saying, boy, man, you... you you, you got it. Uh, so anyways, thank you so thank much. Thank you so Brian, much, Brian Dave. Tratcher, I appreciate you coming on. And uh, you. also thanks for your work. Uh, the database manager at Good Shepherd uh, Parish in Colleyville. So uh, good to speak to him, thank which you, uh, leaves us only with one more segment. And I mentioned earlier that Matt Vaughn uh, is a pilot, and he joins me now to talk about his interesting life. I mean, as if being a pilot isn't cool enough, you know, and you got a wife who's a dentist and you, you know, and then you're also traveling around the world and you're going to mass in all these different countries. I mean, boy, you're just kind of living the dream. Uh, before I uh, bring Matt on, I want to one more time uh, give you the information. We've had a few people that have come by. I don't know how many of the gift certificates, uh, three. Okay, so only one more gift certificate, right? Okay, and I don't know which one is remaining, but one more person can come by and get a gift certificate either to Corner Bakery Chick-fil-A or Starbucks um, and uh, come on by in the next uh, 10 minutes or so uh, 556 West Bedford Euless Road Hearst 76053 as if you know, me saying it that fast you're like I, I didn't understand what you just said but put it into your GPS your smartphone mid cities dental and come on over here because we got one more gift certificate we got plenty of food coffee orange juice uh, muffins uh, fruit as well and um, a little extra car raffle tickets valued at hundred dollars for the Ford Mustang on March 8th, and that same person's going to get two tickets to our Summer Speaker Series event. To get into that drawing, you call my cell phone at 972-757-2990, and you tell Olivia that you want to buy five tickets for the car raffle uh, for $100, and um, you'll, you'll get into that drawing, okay? You'll get a chance to win the car on March 8th, and also a very good chance, my goodness, uh, right now a 33 and a third percent chance of winning uh, two tickets to the Summer Speaker Series event and five extra tickets. So it's a really, really good opportunity, but you got to do it very quickly, 972-757-2990. Can you believe we might have a drawing of only two people? Oh, boy, that's, <laughs> that's, not, that's not good. So call up and uh, buy some tickets and support Catholic Radio, 972-757-2990. All right, with uh, no further ado, Matt Vaughn, pilot extraordinaire and uh, traveler of the world. How are you doing? Good, good to see you. Good morning, Dave. Glad, glad to be here. Uh, it's been uh, interesting to be here talking to you directly. Uh, usually I listen to you on the GRN app when I'm traveling, so it's the uh, first time... Uh, First time on the on the show, obviously. Yeah. Uh, just want to let you know, I, I fly the Boeing 787 for a, uh, a large major airline, and we travel. Uh, it's a big plane, right? It's a big plane. Okay. Yeah, it's a big plane and uh, travels a long, long way, crosses big oceans. So, are you strictly an international pilot? Uh, you don't take trips to uh, uh, Houston. We, <laughs> we, we do. Uh, you know, my career is uh, over 20 years uh, with this company. I've done many places in the United States, but uh, this aircraft mostly does long haul type stuff uh, over okay. the ocean. But we do we do some domestic. Stuff. Stuff. And uh, pilots typically only fly one type of aircraft at a time. 
And uh, when they start training on a new aircraft, they actually lose their qualification on the thing they've been flying 10 years before. Oh, is that right? Okay, a, I didn't know that. Very and strict, very strict requirements on both which seat you fly in and uh, what type of aircraft you fly in. Yeah, it's very tell me, uh, I mean, are we talking about in the course of a typical year, how many different countries are you visiting approximately? Well, uh, currently I travel about uh, about six different countries with the, with the plane that I'm currently flying, but I've been to... Uh, I've been to many, many cities in the United States, but I've been to uh, France, China, Japan, Korea, Germany, Spain, Switzerland, Mexico, Chile, Argentina, Peru, Brazil, England, Singapore, Panama, Australia, and Canada. And that's not in a year. That's in, in that's a number in, of years. In okay, so you just rattle off about 10 or 15 countries. And a typical layover, do you, you're there for a week, a you, couple of days, well, or when what? You, when you travel internationally, you have to have enough time to, uh, to rest and recover from the long, long trip and then uh, go back to work. So typically the layover is uh, anywhere from uh, 24 to about uh, 30, 36 hours. Okay. And sometimes you get a longer one, uh, 48 hours, but uh, rarely does that happen because it's just, it's not very efficient for us. Well, most people don't get to experience the universal church like you do. Do you try to make it a priority if time allows to find a local Catholic church? Is that one of the uh, I, I do. I guess, hobbies I do. for and, lack and, of a better word? You know, I wanted to say that because um, the nice thing about being Catholic is that anywhere you travel, you know, you may feel like a stranger, but um, you can always find a Catholic church, almost always, and uh, and you're always home. So when you go there, even in a place like China, um, going to, of course, the official church, because uh, the, uh, the unofficial church, or the, uh, the underground church, would be dangerous to those members that are practicing that way, but you can go to the the above ground church down to the cathedral and you can worship there and you'll notice that on the screen where they have the readings the readings are the exact same readings in your USCCB mm -hmm. schedule and uh, so all over the world everybody's reading the same readings you are on that calendar day. When you say on the screen, what do you mean by that? Is there a screen typically like a, like a monitor or something or um, what do you mean? Yes, they, they have, a, in, at least in China, they have a, a, a flat screen TV and although I can't read uh, Mandarin, I can uh, I can read the numbers because it's of course the Arabic no numerals mm -hmm. uh, that de describe both the chapter and the verse and you can tell you know which psalm it is and which first reading it is and which uh, which gospel it is especially in the daily mass if you were to go to and I know you said you don't do this but if you were to hypothetically go to an underground church in China you said that you're putting the the people at risk because they you know it's underground would you also be risking your ability to come back I mean would that be like a criminal offense you know uh, probably yeah <laughs> probably okay. would be a, a problematic thing and, and you, know, you wouldn't want to blow anybody's cover with yeah because I mean the underground church is, is in, in a bad spot all right uh, Bob's tell me now three people have bought raffle tickets so we've got a we're gonna have ourselves a drawing here in about five minutes if you want to get in on that uh, car raffle five tickets a hundred dollars let's get at least five I mean come on let's get five people in the drawing call Olivia on my cell phone nine seven two seven five seven two nine nine zero and uh, buy five tickets for a hundred dollars give her your credit card information have a chance to win a car on March 8th and also here in a few about five six minutes you're gonna have a chance to win five extra tickets and two tickets to uh, see Father Robert Spitzer at the Summer Speaker Service event on July 18th, 972-757-2990. I want to have a nice, calm, longer-form conversation with you about this sometime if you can come to our studio. But tell, tell me, um, you know, because we don't have a lot of time, but maybe some of your experiences, maybe some things that surprised you, some of your play, favorite places to visit as far as churches. Uh, I know this is very intriguing. Well, you know, uh, I, I found... Uh, in Asia specifically, because Christianity has not penetrated Asia the same way that it has penetrated, you know, of course, Western Europe and even South America. But it's interesting to go to a place that has, uh, you know, a church that's well over 100 years old in Asia uh, with the missionaries that, that founded it. And it's a you know, beautiful church. One of the things that they do over there is they, they pre prevent catechesis. So they prevent people from teaching the faith. And then they pre prevent people from uh, rebuilding and repairing churches until it becomes politically embarrassing. And so, for instance, this uh, one, one church that, uh, that I went to in Beijing uh, had been renovated specifically because the Olympics were coming, they were gonna have the world coming there. So that, that church is in you know, very, very good repair. And it's interesting that right around it are all these high-end stores from, you know, that we would all recognize uh, in the West. You know, and then there it is, is this, this old cathedral built in 1904, which is, I think, is the second or third iteration of a church uh, there in that spot, you know, because of, you know, revolutions and wars and things burning down and things like that. And, and there it is, and to go worship there, and it, it's, it's beautiful, St. Joseph's Cathedral mm. 
there in, uh, in Beijing. What about, we hear about the emptying churches of Europe, you know, you mentioned France and I think maybe some other European countries as well. Do you find that, that when you go into, I don't know if you ever go to Notre Dame or some of the churches I, in these I European have, countries, do you find it's, uh, it's a little distressing because there aren't many people here and the, the people it's, that are there, you know, are in their 90s? Or what's your experience? What's interesting about Notre Dame is because it, it's such a cultural icon. It's like the number one thing to see if you if you look on the websites of the things to see in Paris. You go see the beautiful Notre Dame Cathedral, which, by the way, was used as a stable uh, during the French Revolution. Um, and so it was defaced. And then, you know, some of the saints' heads were chopped off of the of the you know, edifice outside, and then somebody saved them so that they could be put back on it after the revolution was over. Um, but you can go to confession there in like six, seven different languages. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's really neat to have a priest that speaks that many languages and, you know, you get through the confession and it's fine. Uh, many places in Europe seem to have a small, devout uh, population in a, in a formerly devout country. Um, but you know it's hard it's hard to gauge the faithfulness of of the general populace but i think they're very proud of their culture and about these churches you know they're proud of their culture but there are many seems to be that not many people that are practicing mm -hmm. interesting uh my guest is matt vaughn he's a pilot with a major airline and uh he travels around the world and goes to uh masses do you um, do, you, do you get to talk to people? I know there's the language barrier, but uh, when people find out you're an American or you're a, a, a pilot or what have you, do, do you get to kind of get a feel, the lay of the land from well, the people's perspective yeah. at all? I think, you know, people are very friendly. They're very sweet. And, that, you know, it, it mass is mass in whatever language you are. We'll, we'll say that I was also traveling with, you know, similarly with the military in, in Korea. And I uh, went to mass in Korea. And, of course, it was in my, my naval officer's uniform at that time. Uh, and the, uh, the chief of staff for one of the, the Korean fleets invited me afterwards to a, uh, a potluck dinner. So, so, uh, <laughs> get some was, good food around the world, huh? It was. Let me, Matt, let me just uh, interrupt. Uh, we're going to have to get Olivia here because in about two minutes we're going to do the drawing for the five extra tickets and also uh, the two tickets to our Summer Speaker Series event. And uh, so, you know, Ken Loney, our chief engineer, he has this set up so that we go on at 10 o'clock and at 11 o'clock. We are off the air, and uh, it's it's great the way he sets it up because I don't have to worry about it. So we got a little bit more than three minutes, and uh, really enjoying this conversation. So yeah, Matt, what else did you want to say? I just wanted to you know mention my wife uh, Jackie. Uh, she's Mrs. Vaughn, but she's Dr. Clavin, and uh, she works with uh, Dr. Everline at. Uh, uh, Day Spring Dental up in Bedford. Yeah, take a minute uh, and just talk about that relationship as far as uh, the Mid Cities Dental and the Day the Day Spring Dental and how that all came about. And we, maybe you know, people well, are in the Bedford area. My wife's a, a mother of four, and uh, and she uh, she started that practice and uh, ran it for for many years. And then uh, she and Kyle uh, they came together and worked together a few years ago. And okay. So uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Everline. Apologize. He's a good friend of mine. We hiked a lot together, but. Um, they, uh, they run a practice, two practices in, in uh, separate locations. One's in Hearst, this one's mid cities in Hearst, and of course, uh, Day Spring uh, up in Bedford. So they both, uh, both practice at both locations. All right, and we do uh, appreciate everybody supporting uh, our sponsors and uh, everybody who helps to keep Catholic Radio on the air. So now we're down to about two minutes, and I just want to recap. Uh, thanks to uh, Bob Duane for coming on. Again, man, if you want to go to the, the men's conference, it's this Saturday at St. Patrick's, ntxcmc.org. And, of course, we spoke to uh, Brian Tratcher about the Young Catholic Professionals. You can learn about them at youngcatholicprofessionals.org. Uh, too late to get into the drawing for this, but uh, if you want to buy raffle tickets, call me or email me, Dave Palmer at grnonline.com. And Martha has uh, a coffee cup with, is it five? Or six. Oh, so four of them. Okay, we just got four. That's okay. So everybody has a 25% chance of winning. And uh, have you drawn the winner? And this is going to be the winner of uh, five more tickets for the car raffle. And, um, and also uh, two tickets to the Summer Speaker Series event. And um, let's see. Uh, before, okay. Uh, I, uh, you wanted to say one more thing, man? Yeah, I, I also have a simulator training on Saturday uh, morning and uh, right after the uh, training session of the simulator. To, to maintain my qualification, I'm heading right to the men's conference. Oh, you're going. Okay, good. I didn't want to put you on the spot and ask you if you're going, but hopefully. All right, the winner of five more tickets and also tickets to the Summer Speaker Series event. I actually saw this wonderful lady last weekend at St. Pius Parish in Dallas. 
Juanita Frost is the winner. So she and her husband Tim, I know, are big uh, so, uh, enthusiastic supporters of Catholic Radio. So congratulations to her. Thanks to everybody else who. Uh, and do we have any more gift certificates left? Or are they all gone? One no, more. I got that. Uh, okay. So, uh, anyways, I got 45 seconds. I want to oh, thank. Oh, um, yeah. Are you talking about the yeah, those are for those yeah. folks, yeah. <laughs> Everybody who came by, again, thanks to Mid-Cities Dental, Dr. Kyle and Martha, and uh, also his new partner, uh, Dr. Jackie Clavin, and also all of our guests, Brian and Matt and Bob and uh, Dr. Kyle, for coming on with us. And um, let's see. You know what? Um, that's going to be it. I'm out of time. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> uh, other than if you need to get a hold of me, just email me, davepalmer at grnonline.com. Thanks for listening, and thanks to Mid-Cities Dental. Dave Palmer signing off, and thanks to Olivia Franklin for all the great work that she does here as well. Uh, and we'll return to regular programming here on KTH 910 AM. God bless you.